Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a logo uh, for if you're making like an app on your cell phone, on a cell phone, or uh, maybe you're making a website and you want a little logo for uh, your Facebook or whatever. Uh, this is just a really easy way to do it and make it look pretty cool, kind of like Facebook, Twitter, you know, those type of logos. Uh, so first of all, let's just drag out a little square here. This will be your where your logo will begin. Let's give it a little uh, stroke. Right now, let's just say three points and black. Alright, so we want to round the edges. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your corner options and round it. And that gives it a nice little kind of Facebooky looking image here. And what you can also do is you can make it, uh, let me do preview here you can kinda of change the shape of the box here to fit whatever you want so I'm just gonna go with that, that looks about right to me um, and then let's, let's fill it, give it a little bluish green look and then I'm you can you know if you have an image or something you can use that uh, I don't have a particular image, so I'm just going to use a little letter here. Put R for Reese. And just put that right there in the middle. And you kind of mess with the colors and all of that stuff. I kind of like doing a little stroke around it of white. Uh, so what you're going to do now is I'm going to drag your cursor, just click and drag over all of these and you're going to group it. Now there's two ways to do that. You can hit control G and that'll group it or you can go up to your edit or not your edit, sorry about that your object and hit group Now what you're going to want to do to make it look kind of cool, you're going to go up to Object, Effects, Bevel and Emboss. And you can see it's it's kind of lighting it in a different way. Now what I like to do is I go up to Size, and I just start messing with it until I think it looks kind of cool. Just making it go up by a pica each time. You could mess with the angle too. Something like that. And hit OK. And there's your logo. And you can if you want to get that into a uh, like a JPEG type image. Really easy way to do that is you can just take this and open up your uh, Photoshop. Now you're just gonna do a copy paste into your Photoshop and and it'll give you exactly what you need. Alright. And that's that's it. That's how you make your logo. Hope you enjoyed it.